Here's all the hardware that you need and all the software that you need in order to follow along this tutorial. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do in this tutorial. I'm going to ask you to take your computer and then install Unity Game Engine. And then I'm going to ask you to install MetaQuest Link app. And then I'm going to ask you to try to connect your computer to your virtual reality headset either wirelessly or if that doesn't work through a wired method using the MetaQuest Link app. And if all that works, then I'm going to ask you to come back to Unity so that we can start developing games for virtual reality. Why did you click this video? Because I know it, you know it, virtual reality is the future. And you wanted to be a part of this future, so did I. But when I tried to develop for virtual reality, oh my god, it was so frustrating. I had so many questions. Is my computer powerful enough? Do I need to purchase a virtual reality headset? Everything is so expensive. What all software do I need to use? And why are there so many of them? I was so confused. I spent literally weeks trying to figure all of this out. It was so overwhelming. I gave up multiple times but eventually I still came back because virtual reality is too good to give up on see I don't want anyone else to give up on virtual reality and I don't want anyone else to go through what I went through that's why I made this tutorial this tutorial it's it's for absolute beginners I made this tutorial so easy even Joe Biden can do it huh? so let's get started here's all the hardware that you need and all the software that you need in order to follow along this tutorial. The first thing you need is of course a computer. The higher the GPU, the better for game development. The second thing you need is of course a virtual reality headset. It is highly, highly preferred that you get uh, the MetaQuest 3 virtual reality headset that I have over here because it is the best bang for the buck, the best value virtual reality headset in the market right now. But however, if you have a tight budget, you can still get the MetaQuest 2 which is just $200 or any of the MetaQuest virtual reality headset, for example, the MetaQuest Pro or any other virtual reality headset that a Meta provides. I'm recommending MetaQuest virtual reality headsets because 90% of people that use virtual reality use the MetaQuest, either MetaQuest 2 or MetaQuest 3. The third hardware is a special USB-C cable like the one I have over here. On the software side, I want you to install the Unity game engine software. It is the most beginner friendly game engine software that many people use in order to build games for virtual reality. And then the second software is the MetaQuest Link app. And we're gonna need this app to stream whatever virtual reality game that you made using Unity to your virtual reality headset. Here's what I'm gonna ask you to do in this tutorial. I'm gonna ask you to take your computer and then install Unity Game Engine. And then I'm gonna ask you to install MetaQuest Link app. And then I'm going to ask you to try to connect your computer to your virtual reality headset either wirelessly or if that doesn't work through a wired method using the MetaQuest Link app. And if all that works, then I'm going to ask you to come back to Unity so that we can start developing games for virtual reality. All right, let's get this party started. Okay, uh, first thing I asked you to do was download Unity. And there we go. This is called Unity Hub. This is like the starting window that you get. And these are all the projects that you will have soon. You will have to probably create an account. As you can see, I've already made my account and I'm logged in. That's why I'm able to see this menu. What I'm going to ask you to do is go to the installs pane and then go to the top right corner and click install editor and then scroll down to find this version Unity 2022 recommended version. And I'm going to ask you to click install. I'm going to ask you to click this Android build support. This is because the MetaQuest virtual reality headsets, they run on Android. So we need this. And then scroll down and also click Windows build support. Now we need this because sometimes we may need this. And then you can click continue. You know what to do here. And do the same thing. And then finally click the install button. It's going to take a while. And while this is happening, what I'm going to ask you to do is download the MetaQuest Link app. Now, let me show you how you can do that. Type in MetaQuest Link app. There we go. And then you can click the first link and then scroll down. Click this link, MetaQuest Link PC app setup. And wait for the setup file to download and then click the setup file. So let's get on with this uh, installation. 
Yes, agree. Install now. And it's going to take a while. The software has been installed. Let's click next. Then log into a meta account. Uh, okay, it's taking you to a browser. Hmm. Okay, you can continue with your Facebook or continue with your Instagram or continue with your email. I am going to continue with my Facebook account. Yes. Next. Yes. 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 So you all shared uh, your first. What else we Okay, finally we are here. Once everything is installed, you're gonna get this window. Now if you have a red notice bar over here, like this one over here, that means your computer probably doesn't have a powerful enough GPU to stream virtual reality games that you made in Unity to your headset. But don't worry, not all is lost. You can still develop games for virtual reality. The only difference is that whenever you want to test your game that you developed, you won't be able to instantly view it in your virtual reality headset. Instead, what you have to do is you have to export your game and then copy it to your virtual reality headset and then play it to test it each time. So this entire thing is gonna take like 10 minutes on average. So it's just going to be slightly inconvenient, that's all. But if you do not have that message, then congratulations, you have a powerful computer. Okay, once you're in the MetaQuest link dashboard, you will have to go to the devices tab on the left over here click it and then click add headsets and as you can see all the virtual reality headsets provided by meta is going to be listed over here if you have the quest 2 click quest 2 but i have the meta quest 3 so i'm going to click the meta quest 3 and then i'm going to click continue and then there you go there are two ways you can connect to your headset either the wireless method or the cable method the wireless method doesn't work for everyone including me but I'm still going to try it this time to show you guys in case it works for you guys. So let me click this. Let me click continue and then connect your headset. Put on your headset. Okay, it says to put on my headset. Finally, I always miss my headset. See you on the other side. Where's my controller? Okay, there it is. This is probably going to be how it looks like inside your MetaQuest 3 headset. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is click this enter the pass-through mode so that you can as you can see you can see your uh, laptop and follow the instructions on the screen or my youtube video which you're most probably following along and then i'm gonna ask you to go to the quick settings over here click it go to the top right corner and then click settings over here and then go to system and then scroll down to the developer tab if you have one and then click this usb link auto connect i've already enabled it over here and then go to the quest link tab and then make sure this quest link button is switched on this is going to allow you to use the meta quest link now you're going to click the launch quest link and then you're going to enable the air link method since we are trying to connect to it wirelessly as you can see, I have my laptop over here and I'm going to click this. As you can see, it doesn't work. You see? It looks like my computer doesn't support wireless feature or something else is wrong. I do not know how to fix this. Let me try with my friend's computer. As you can see, it doesn't connect. Well, if the wireless option doesn't work for you, like in my case, then what you need to do is buy a special cable. Let me tell you all about this cable, okay? Your MetaQuest 3 headset has a USB-C port over here. Any normal USB-C cable will work if you want to simply copy files but if you want to stream an, an entire virtual reality game to your headset through from your computer then your normal usb-c cables are not going to work so let me show you what cable you need to get so it's the quest link cable as you can see over here this is the cable recommended by meta but i'm not using this cable because look at this 80 dollars that's a lot 
for for just a cable. I already spent so much in purchasing uh, my Quest 3 headset. Why should I drop another 80 grand on this cable? That's why I bought this other cable. It's called the Honda uh, super fast charging 100 watt cable. This cable will work. Uh, let me show you where you can get it from. All you have to do is type in Honda USB-C cable and huh, most probably, ah, there it is. Amazon Honda USB-C to C cable, it's $18. But if you're tight on budget, there is still an even cheaper option. All you have to do is type in super fast charging USB-C. There you go. This one, the 240 watt USB-C to C cable. This will work as well. There you go. I saved you 70 bucks. So once you have this special cable, I'm going to ask you to go back to the MetaQuest link app. You can click quick set a quit setup and then you can click the devices tab again, add the headset again, click Quest 3 again, click continue. And then this time click the link option. Click continue and then once again go back into virtual reality. Oh, I forgot to connect. Before going back into virtual reality, make sure you're connected. I've connected one side to my laptop. I'm going to connect the other side to my virtual reality headset over here. As you can see, now I'm going to see you on the other side and we are back now you're gonna do the same thing that i told you to do go to quick settings and then click the settings tab click the system tab go to quest link and then make sure the quest link is enabled launch quest link and then disable the arrow link because this time we are going to use the wired method and as you can see usb is detected and oh it automatically detects and loads and as you can see it says your device setup is still in progress please take off your headset and continue with the setup on the oculus app on your computer so let's do that uh, what is this notice button over here it says your performance can be improved by switching to a usb3 connection well this is only a recommendation i think it's asking you to buy the actual quest link cable because that will guarantee the highest performance but since i cheaped out and got the 18 dollars cable it's not going to give me the maximum performance but it's still good enough trust me okay click the continue button and then check your cable connection you don't have to if you want to go ahead but I'm going to click the continue button and then setup complete. Let's go. Okay, close. Let's go to the devices tab and there we go. Your Quest 3 is connected. Let's let me click over here and there it is. It says it's connected and active. One very important thing that I forgot to mention is that when you install the MetaQuest Link app, what it does is that it it installs its own audio setup file and it switches to it. So after you're done developing for virtual reality and you plan to take a break, so you go to YouTube to watch a video or you go somewhere else to watch a movie, you will notice that you won't be able to hear the sound from the speakers in your laptop or anywhere else that you connect it to. How to solve this? You have to go to the bottom right corner and click the audio icon and then uh, click the sound output. And then as you can see, the Oculus virtual audio device is selected. What this does is that it will stream whatever sound is played on the video you're watching on your laptop to your MetaQuest headset. Since now you, you no longer want to, all you have to do is click the speakers or your click your native computer speakers. Once you do that, you can enjoy whatever you were watching. I had a movie night planned, okay? I called all my folks over. We were planning to watch The Tomorrow War. It's an amazing movie, by the way. I highly recommend you watch it. So here we were, sitting all on the sofa. The lighting was perfect, snacks, drinks were ready. It was gonna be one perfect movie night. At least that's what I thought. There's an intense scene, you know, playing on the TV, but we can't hear a thing. Next thing you know, I spent the entire night trying to figure out how to solve this problem. Eventually, fortunately, I did. But unfortunately, the perfect movie night got cancelled. Mm. So if you're facing this issue, this is how to solve it. No more movie nights will be cancelled on my watch. You're welcome. All right, what's next? Well, next is the most exciting part of this tutorial. Developing your first game in virtual reality and playing it in your meta quest virtual reality headsets go back to your unity hub software and as you can see oh my god it's still installing yeah it's gonna take a while 
I'm sorry, it is what it is. Even though I have a gaming laptop, it still takes its sweet time. Once it finally completes downloading, I'm gonna see you then. Coming up next, how to develop a virtual reality game using Unity and OpenXR with or without a virtual reality headset. Subscribe to know immediately when the next video drops.